Refugee populations, they face very specific barriers. The barriers that they face are predominantly a lot of trauma. We talk about this as the triple trauma paradigm. That's the trauma of fleeing your home country, the trauma of relocating, and then the trauma of trying to integrate to a new place. And for kids, this can be a real challenge. Some of our families are also coming in from the Afghan um, Allies program which includes students who were you know, medevaced out of Afghanistan in August of 2021. And those students didn't have the kind of processing time that traditional arrivals did. They didn't have 20 years in camp to kind of process the trauma they've been through. It's much more emergent. We have clients right now that want to drop out of school and, and, and go to work. So they're sending money home and allowing their family members to not have to be recruited and enrolled in the Taliban militia. We also have clients coming in from Ukraine. This program is completely different because they don't have the same kind of hand-holding that other populations do. So the community's really stepped up in a big way to provide for these kinds of refugees. All of these populations have the same thing in common. They're really facing immense mental health challenges, especially if they've faced recent exposure to violence or witness violence being committed against their parents or family members. Without strong coping mechanisms, it often means that these students are the most likely to have what's called heart hyperarousal, which just means they're more likely to be agitated, irritated, uncomfortable, and that puts a bigger risk on that community. The biggest challenge that we overcome is mental health, really.